Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 4 of our Xamarin UI test course. And in this video we will be talking about creating and understanding Xamarin.UI test project. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 3 since in that part we were talking about creating our first Xamarin application and also we talked about how to actually create and run the application in Android emulator. Alright, so let's get started. Xamarin.UI test. Xamarin.UI test is a separate project template which is available in the cross-platform template of the Xamarin where you can create the UI test application of Xamarin. And you can access that from this UI test app of Xamarin UI test and cross-platform which is available here. So again, this is the C sharp language. You can also use the other language if you want, like F sharp. But yes, this is the way you can create the test project for the Xamarin. I'm not really going to talk about a lot of theories here because this is just creation of a project. So let's quickly get started and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio 2017. All right, so this is the same project which we have been working so long in creating the first Xamarin application, which is our EA Xamarin app. And now I'm going to add a Xamarin UI test project. So for that, I'm going to right click this solution and then I'm going to go over to this add and new project. And here within this cross platform, we have something called as UI test app. So I'm just going to select that and let's call this as a cross platform test and hit OK. So this is going to create a project for us within this particular solution. And the most important thing to note in this particular project itself is the references. You can see that within this particular project, we actually have something called as nunit.core, nunit.core interface, nunit framework, nunit.util, nunit.visualstudio.testadapter, and xamarin.ui test. So you can see there are so many n units and also there is a xamarin.ui test. So this is the guy which is responsible for identifying the UI element of the application within the Android and as well as iOS. So you can use the same project to work for these two projects, the Android as well as the iOS. That's the very cool thing. You can run the same code written in C Sharp for both Android and iOS regardless of the object identification. That's the main cool thing, which is not available in Appium as well. And the most important thing in Appium is, if you are like a C Sharp shop, and if you're gonna execute your test in C Sharp, you can only run in Windows in Appium, but in Mac operating system, currently the Appium is not supported in Mac operating system. The Appium library is not supported in .NET Core yet, Maybe in future it is going to be supported, but for now there is a limitation in Appium where it cannot execute in Mac operating system. But Xamarin fills that gap very long time before, right? And you can see that, as I said, there is a .NET Core. Let's right click the references and let's go to the manage NuGet packages and let's see what is the version installed. The version currently installed is 2.6.4 for NUnit and there is a version installed for uh, Xamarin which is 1.3.8. Actually you can go to the stable version of Xamarin which is no problem, you can update this. But if you go to the NUnit version which is version uh, 2.6.4 and if you try to update this particular version, Xamarin is not going to work at all. Xamarin currently support version 2.6.4, that's it. It won't support the latest version of NUnit, so please don't update these two options. This is very, very important uh, information. You can also uh, go to the Xamarin website and see uh, currently this is the version which is supported. That's why even while the package, uh, while the project is created, it is actually uh, hooking up with this particular version. But you can ask why this particular version is not updated. Uh, this is because while the Xamarin is shipping with this particular Visual Studio, uh, this is the default version installed. But you can update this particular version, which is okay, but not these two. So don't ever update the end unit and you will end up with a lot of problems, right? So that's the most important information. I run through a lot of problem while I updated this end unit. And then after reading the documentation and figure out that that's the problem. And then there is a class file called app file. 
And you can see this app initializer.cs file is actually holding a very, very important method called a start app. And it has uh, some platform information, something like platform.android. And if it is not platform.android, then it's going to be running the iOS app. And there is a configure app.android.startup. And if you don't really understand what is these things, don't worry about it yet, because when we start working with it, we will understand these things eventually. But yes, this is the uh, kind of case statement where if you pass the platform as Android, it's gonna execute the Android test. But if you pass the platform as iOS, then it's gonna execute the iOS app. And then there is a test.cs file where you can see that within this test.cs file, you have uh, some fixtures where you have already passed both the uh, platforms, something like Android as well as iOS. So if you pass both these things, then it is gonna be a problem as well. So yes, uh, this is something which is actually, we are not gonna work with. We are just gonna execute the Android. So we can comment this particular piece of code. We're not gonna execute that. And you can see that within this particular class, we have uh, iApp. What is this iApp class? Again, iApp is like, uh, we can say it is like an iWeb driver in Selenium where it has everything for you, like finding elements and performing some operations, something like that. So all this is actually sitting in iApp. So iApp is the heart and soul of Xamarin, I would say. And if you just do F12, it will decompile for me and you can see that the iApp is gonna be a gateway to interact with an application. And this interface can train the shared functionality between Android app as well as iOS app. So this is the heart and soul as I already said, right? And then there is a platform, so don't worry about it. This is just an enum. Uh, it tells about uh, which kind of platform gonna execute, whether it's an iOS or Android or Windows that's the enum it is. And here within this test, you're passing in uh, what kind of uh, platform you're gonna execute. So whatever fixture you have passed, that's the value is gonna be sitting in here. And then it's gonna, before each test, it's gonna execute uh, the application to open. And once the application is open, it's gonna say app.screenshot. So it's gonna basically take a screenshot and uh, tell you this is the screenshot. But within this app, as I said, this one, the iApp, you have all the whole world of performing operation like printing, uh, then clicking the back button, clearing the test, this dismissing the keyboards, double tap, uh, flash and invoke and pinch and zoom, query, ripple. It's very, very cool. Actually, I really love Xamarin because you have everything out of the box and something which is available only in Xamarin but not in Appium because in Appium we have to customize and write the code and most of the time it won't work But in Xamarin everything is available out of the box and it's super easy We will start working with it while we start discussing about it in our next video Once again guys, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day